Hi guys, Kate here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. So I am collaborating with Soft and Gentle on this video. They've asked me to be part of their Soft and Gentle Moments series to support their new Body Balance collection, which has been especially formulated for intimate body care and all over body cleansing, and it's available now in Boots. So they've asked me to share with you an embarrassing girly moment, and I have quite a few of those, but I'm just gonna share one with you today. So let's get straight into it. Right, so the story that I'm gonna share with you guys is the story of when I first wore a bikini. This is literally the first time I ever wore a bikini and I was never allowed to wear bikinis as a child or anything. My mum just wouldn't let me and I was one of those kids that always wanted to wear one. Going back to when I was about, I think I was about 11 at this point, I just started growing boobs. You know when they're just sprouting? They're not like proper boobs, they're just tiny little bumps. I had those and I thought, you know what? I am gonna get a bikini and I didn't tell my mum and I went to a water park with some of my friends and I thought I am gonna wear this bikini that I've got and I am gonna be so cool. So it was basically like a crop top and shorts, it wasn't like a really skimpy bikini or anything. Anyway, can you guess what happens here? The first slide I went on, I whooshed down it and as soon as I got to the bottom, realized that I no longer had the crop top that I had been wearing. It was in fact around my neck because I didn't have proper boobs to keep it down. My little sprouts were not enough to keep that crop top in place and I just died. I cannot tell you, I was just like, <gasps> as if that just happened and I just quickly pulled it down and ran off. It was mortifying. Even thinking about it now makes me cringe and to this day I will not wear a bikini in a water park. I will always, always, always wear a swimming costume. So that is a life tip for you guys. If you're worried about your bits coming out in a water park, just wear a swimming costume. Even then though, you've still got the risk of the wedgie. That is just a constant risk. So yes, I will always, always, always wear a swimming costume and I mean like a full swimming costume. This one has inbuilt support in it. Gotta have one of these when I go to a water park. So that is my embarrassing girly story for you guys. We all have them, don't we? Leave me yours in the comment section down below. Let me know what your most embarrassing girly moment is. Getting on to the Body Balance collection. These are the products within the collection. There's a daily shower wash, which is pH balanced for intimate skin. There's the fragrance spray, which is designed for intimate skin. In. And we also have my favourite, which is the two-in-one shower and shave mousse. This stuff is so, so good, guys. This is also pH balanced for intimate skin. All of these products are, obviously, it's the Body Balance collection. But they're also all gynaecologist approved and they're really, really gentle, even for the most sensitive skin. And these all have such a lovely scent as well. They're so fresh, but they're not, like, overpowering. Like I said, I absolutely love the two-in-one shower and shave mousse. I love that it's a two-in-one product. But it's also absolutely great for shaving. Literally, you can get the closest shave. It's really moisturising and you don't get those little razor bumps and I am quite prone to razor bumps anyway. I do have quite sensitive skin so this has been doing me very well. And like I said, all of these products are gynaecologist tested, they're dermatologist tested as well and they're perfect for everyday use. You can also use them all over your body which is great. And they also have a prebiotic complex as well which stimulates the skin's natural defences so that your skin will be happy and balanced which is what you want. So this whole range is absolutely great if you've got particularly sensitive skin. So like I said, I want you guys to leave me your embarrassing stories stories down below. Don't be shy, let me know what they are and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you would like to watch my last one you can click on it just there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you would like to see more from me. Follow me over my social media, come and have a chat with me and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!